today I'm going to show you this. So this is um, some of my uh, the art that I own, just done by other people. Uh, some interesting stuff in here. This is just the A4 size. I've got bigger stuff elsewhere that I can't really show you because it's too big. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get cracking and show you what's what's in here because um, I think you like it. Kick off with a beautiful piece by Ombre that was done for me. Uh, just. Look at that little dedication to me. So that, that is just a gorgeous piece of art. If you're a character artist, ombre is just, you know, speaks for itself really. I mean, it's a fantastic piece of art. We did an exchange on that one. Uh, in fact, it makes me want to hit him up again, actually, and say, fancy another go. Um, not just to get a great piece of art off him, but also because whatever you're going to do for ombre, you're going to feel that it's probably not good enough, <laughs> you know, because his piece is going to be so amazing. So, anyway. Beautiful piece of art on him. Very lovely. In fact, I'm looking at that thinking, yeah, yeah, he's given me ideas even looking at that. So inspirational. Such a great artist, Ombre. Okay, these two, interesting. So this one was done by my longtime painting partner, who is now um, unfortunately deceased. Hush. He gave me that. Simon gave me that, that one. Beautiful sort of uh, watercolour, a bit of form on top of it. 3D form on top of all that, very nice. This is by a guy called Mr. TMR, and um, I haven't heard from him for ages. It's done on sort of canvas paper, done in uh, in spray paint, and uh, in fact, it's mostly done in spray paint. Looking at it, I'm realizing that. Yeah, interesting. I think he must have cut a stencil because that says seven of fifteen, so he must have done a few of them. But uh, very nice, nice little pink. I really love this guy's stuff. He did lots of um, amazing women and nudes and stuff. So this one was from a few years... Oh, God, how many years back? I don't even know. Probably loads of years back now. So Tizer had, uh, had an exhibition at Pure Evil Gallery in Shoreditch in London, UK. I will say UK because I know a lot of people from outside UK. And um, loads of people I knew... We're heading down there, and I knew Tizer a bit anyway, and so went down, hooked up with Tizer. Loved his, I love everything Tizer does anyway. He's an amazing, amazing artist, and uh, and such a great guy. And I said, I've got to buy a piece off you, man. I've got to get something off you. And he said, I'll just do your sketch now. I said, Would you? Would you? What? Right now? And he said, Yeah, yeah, man. I'll do it right now. And he just grabbed a bit of card. And he done this sketch for me. <laughs> And uh, it means a lot to me, this, because he did it there and then. We just chatted while he did it. There's his crew, Ivory Dukes, ID, Idiot's Crew, all that. Um, yeah. Love that. Love it. It's his classic kind of character. You can, you know, you can tell a ties a character from miles away. So good. Yeah, love that. Love that. This... So this is a piece, I think this is from the 1990s, and this is very precious to me, because this is a Pops 100 original. And Pops sent me this, and uh, you can see it's very old and very battered, and it's, you know, really fine, beautiful detail on it and all that. And, um, yeah, because I said to him, look, I've got, to, I've got to get a piece of work off you. I want an original of you. But if you can... I want one from the olden days. And he said, well, a lot of my stuff is missing or back in the UK because he lives in New Zealand now. And uh, and he managed to dig this piece out for me. He sent it me. He said, I don't want anything for it. Have it. I know you love the work and all that. Just have it. And uh, and this is one of my prized possessions now. This Pop 500 piece. Okay, quick quick jump cut there um, because I'm having to cover up uh, <laughs> uh, my arrest docket from when I was nicked by British Transport Police. I've forgotten that was in there. Um, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is an illustration by Mr. TMR. Uh, I don't know what 2.30 is, if it's his crew or whatever. Lovely bit of hand style there as well. Really love this guy's stuff. If you're watching this, Mr. TMR, some quality work, mate. Not heard from you for a long time. Say hello. Really good. This is um this is a piece by Remy Ruff, and uh, great artist Remy Ruff, old old school UK London writer, um sort of trailblazing guy, works a lot in um 
I guess you call it abstract expressionism now, very big on the gallery scene worldwide, starting to do a lot of big sort of cherry picker side of the building sort of stuff, all that kind of stuff now. He's a big, big worldwide global artist now. But he did an exhibition where he did uh, sick bags. It was called Unsettled Content. You have right here. And uh, he done about 40 of these different illustrations. And um, uh, he gave me this one, basically. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that sits in my collection, obviously. So, uh, one by P. Toons there. Whoops, can you see that? One by P. Toons. German artist, me pal. Cool guy. Uh, he does a lot of the sexy ladies, obviously. Um, this one, another one by Remy Ruff, this one. I specifically asked him, so he, he did this wall. I can't remember where. Stockwell somewhere, well, a Hall of Fame somewhere, and I saw it and just went, oh, I love that. Then I saw the sketches that he did for it, and this was it. Uh, and I said, um, I said, I'll buy that sketch off you. And he went, I've known him for quite a long time, Ruff. And, and he said, uh, he said, no, man, I'll just give it you. Very generous of him. Very generous of him. He gave it me, you know, and there it is. I love that. The reason I love this, by the way, is because look how... Look how beautiful and rough and ready it is. This is like proper old school black book type of stuff. You know, he's put the box in there. The reason he's put the box in there is because that mirrors the wall. That was just for the size of the wall. Ruff used to do that a lot. He used to, if you look in his black books, they're all sort of boxed off like that because he's he's done the, uh, he's, he's sort of downsized the wall in his book so that he can plan it. And he's got it all down and everything. All these bits of pencil that he hasn't bothered to ink. He just, you know, he's just getting an idea of where stuff's going to go. Some little shines and all that. And just, I love all that. Unfinished stuff. Oh, God. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Crazy about that stuff. Oh, there we go. Um, bit of Chio. That's not a, uh, that's not an original, obviously. That bit of Chio. It's just, I really like that. I think it was uh, in something he sent one time. Um, little cute piece by Nuzo. Um... He's a nice, nice artist, really nice artist. Nice, 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 um, really good stuff. And sort of UK train writer. Did my name for me there. This is by Filth. Filth is from the West Midlands. Um, I think Birmingham. And he has beautiful character work. Often of gorgeous looking ladies. And this is, uh, I think this is, is it just a pencil sketch? I don't know if it's pencils, he used a bit of white on there, something, a bit of ink maybe. Anyway, beautiful, exquisite, sort of delicate sketch. I'll move my hand so you can actually see it. Um, yeah, gorgeous bit of uh, gorgeous bit of work that I bought that one. Uh, another by P Toons there, dummy name there. Cute, and another one of his ladies. Might have to give that a PG rating. Probably on YouTube. Um, more P2s there. This one first. This is by Escape, French artist. We did a we did a collab, and we did this. I did one of my canisters there, and he did his version of a canister there, and he did my name. I, I did his name. Love his stuff. Look at that. That kind of look at that in that background in that one color, sort of ghosting in the background. Beautiful that so great look at that use of space uses the negative space there oh superb absolutely superb love that guy another one by tizer i bought that one uh that was a beautiful beautiful i saw that and just thought that's great that's so great i love that love it look at that hand that he's done there that is so good so well observed you know to cartoonize a, a, like a tortoise like that really good Really, really good. Such a great artist. Another one by Filth. Uh, a rare letters piece. I say a rare letters piece. Rare because I don't see him do many letters. Maybe he does. Um, most of you see him do characters. Um, anyway, very lovely, as you can see. Uh, this is one by a guy called Benjamin Badbones. I just really loved the... Uh, I just really loved the ink work on it. And look at that eye there. It's just very subtle, beautiful, subtle colours and tones in there. Very nice, I thought. Really, really nice. On the brown paper as well. 
Think about using something other than white paper. That's a good tip. Note to self. This is by, um, I can't see that one. Right. It's by a guy called Seor. I've done my name there. Uh, Portuguese writer, very nice guy. Does very nice stuff. Beautiful style there, no one by him there. See all quality, quality work. Cool guy as well. I haven't heard from him for a while. Um, this is by Hero, who uh, I think he's, he's he's a London writer. I'm pretty sure his style is very known to all of us. Anyway, this is from the uh, the Do One Cancer uh, um, Jam that they hold down in uh, in Leak Street in South London. Um, that they haven't held for a while, obviously, because of lockdown. That was in 2019. And uh, he was selling these to raise money for the cause and all that. This one's my Nuzo. Really lovely little tube map. We swapped tube maps, me and him. Uh, he sent me this one, I sent him one. It's a really beautiful piece of work, that, actually. All in paint marker. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Do one cancer, another by Hero there. 2019. Before the Great Plague hit, really lovely. He's used that liquid chrome, the uh, I think the Molotov one. Really good liquid chrome. That that's a flyer, ombre. Beautiful ombre flyer there. That's the uh, the unsettled content Remy Ruff exhibition flyer. A couple more flyers in there. Bits and pieces. Bit of mode two there. That's by Guy. That's by Ewan actually. Ewan, who, who paints with Tom Blackford sometimes, and he's an amazing artist, Ewan. If you're not following, Ewan Ewan on Instagram. E-W-A-N-E-W-A-N, -E -E twice, just like that. Fantastic artist. Works in ballpoint quite a lot. That's a painting, that. Look how big it is. That is a paint. Can you see that? And I bought it off him. It's so exquisite. It's a Judge Death, the Judge Dredd character. It's just gorgeous. Just amazing. Just absolutely brilliant. I just thought I've got to get that. I've got to buy that. So I bought it. Um, these are by uh, Rex. R-E-K-S. Um, getting London writer. Um, so good. Such a funky style. And he's, he's, um, he's so clean on the wall as well. You've got to see stuff on the wall. It's so beautifully clean while I'm there. So, so cool. Uh, these are his as well. Throwy styles and stuff. There's a nice, there's a nice Rex style there. Just beautiful, isn't it? Great. Slightly more ornate one here as well. That's a Rex print. Really cool. Love his stuff. I've not seen him paint for a while, actually. I wonder if he's painting at the moment. I've not seen his stuff go up for ages. Um, Insta, he's um, D O N T R A M P. Um, check him out, such a good, such a good writer. And this one, um, is by Dibs, beautiful uh, two sticker Dibs piece in gold, uh, with highlights. And uh, and there you go, so there you go, guys, there you go, that's um. That's my, uh, a bit, well, that's a little f fragment of my art collection, uh, as done by other people. And um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the other ones because they're too big. But um, I've got I've got some absolute beauties in my collection, as you might imagine. I mean, you accumulate this stuff over 30 odd years. Um, and, and to be honest, you know, most of it gets lost, uh, like everything else. Gets lost in moves and gets lost, you know, in, in, somebody else's art fold or whatever it is you know but these are the these are the ones i've got left you know basically so anyway hope you enjoyed all that uh more soon